these cars are going faster than I am. I think, that can't be right. And then I'm looking in the rearview mirror going, why can't I see anything? I'm not at, wait, I'm in San Diego, not Los Angeles. Where's the small, oh shoot. Big blooms of black smoke are coming out of the back. It was sort of horrible. And I got to the end of the road and I got out of the car just in time for it to go, eek. <laughs> One little wheel going, <laughs> <laughs> funny thing is that I, I got a nice car, and uh, I hate to say it, my family in Japan found out about it. They're all priests, uh, and they're also samurais, and, and we are concerned about the Tadao's safety. We will contribute a small amount and the gift certificate. I was like, where did they get the gift? Oh, they're priests, never mind. So anyway, <laughs> but once again, you will rediscover the... the Comedian has the oddest luck with cars. I don't know how this happened, but like just before New Year's Eve, I was I was driving down San Diego. I had to stop at the local grocery store uh, where they had the you know the bank and the little strip mall thing. I stopped. You know, it's big empty lot. I pulled in at a very low speed. Yeah, how many people are actually believing that with me? Raise your hands. Ha ha. Anyway. So I was pulling in, and I stopped the car, and the car slid three feet into the spot ahead of it. And I'm going, oh, thank God there was no car there. And I stopped, and I stopped. Why did I stop? I was, the brakes, it's a new car, and I look out. The entire parking lot is strewn with banana peels. <laughs> I want you to think about that for a moment. <laughs> Only the comedian's car would slip on banana peel. Yeah. And I looked under the car, and all these banana peels everywhere that looked like they were thrown around by some guerrilla movement, yes, I meant that is what I said, of bananas, it was one banana peel. Mm. One banana peel, and the car slides three feet. <laughs> you do not want to know what happened when I went in reverse, but anyway. Oh, so, uh, let's see, what was I talking about? Anyone got anything interesting they want to say for New Year's? Too late. Okay. <laughs> no, thank you, I'm going to Let's see, uh, what else has been funny happening, haha, -ha, versus how many going, I can't believe this? Oh, how many of you remember, I rescue people? Raise your hands. Okay, sorry, for those of you who heard it, the rest of you are going to have to hear it again. So, I have this odd per chant. I'm an actor. I've played a medic, I've played a fireman, I've played a police officer, I've been blown up in heroes too many times. But for some reason, people think this is what I really do for a living. I rescue people. My top five, eight phone calls, more or less, on my phone. And, and some of you are going to have to stop giggling because you know who I'm going to talk about. And one of them is you, as I recall. But anyway, I get these phone calls. For example, one of the phone calls, you know, you guys let me know when you guys are ready. Or are you ready and I can stop telling the story and then not tell it until next year. Oh, you want me to keep talking? Oh, good, okay. Thank you for using those fingers and not the other one. Okay, thank you. Uh, so, on the phone calls I get, one of them is, Tadao, help, my foot is stuck in the sink faucet. <laughs> what? No, really, my and this is a friend of mine's wife, you know, and it's just back in Chicago. Her toe was stuck in the sink faucet, and the problem is both of us sort of work for like this, uh, paramedic fire, but anyway, she didn't want to call 911 because it all gets recorded, and if her husband's company had to go and rescue her, she didn't want that happening because it's embarrassing, you know, the fireman's wife, her toe is stuck in the sink faucet. I'm like, okay, fine, I go in, I open to find the key underneath the pad, open the door, go up, and she says, I'm a little stuck, I'm in the bathroom upstairs. Okay, I go rushing upstairs, and, I, and the door was locked. I go, why is the door locked? And she goes, is that you? Tennis? Yeah, it's me. Okay, I'm gonna have to break down the door. That's fine. I kick and I bust down the door. Well, that was me, sound effect. Uh, I bust down the door. There's this, she's there. She has her leg up this way, stuck in the sink faucet. And she's naked. <laughs> and she, her hands covering this way, she had managed to grab the cordless phone, which was, she was holding this way, and the tip of the antenna was covering the other, well, you get the idea. <laughs> she was just out of, this, this is a good story. Oh, should I stop? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> So this way I get to blame it on them this time. No, and, so, and she couldn't reach the towels. And the first thing is, blonde, Asian guy, hello? And before I go, what? She's like, we just get me out of this Okay, fine. We get her toe out of the thing. She grabs a towel and all this and that. Now, you know what you're thinking. Thinking she was 
shaving her legs, clipping her toenails. There was nothing in the area for this. And I'm like, hmm. I had to tell her husband about it. And like three years later, after the divorce, so there's so, another thing. So, ta-da! Yeah. You remember the time, you know, my wife got her toes stuck in this? Yeah. She was naked, right? So yeah, that's what I told you. So, yeah. Why didn't you ask her on the date? You were still married to her at the time, dude. It's like, okay. Did she ever tell you how or why? Did she tell you? No. This is the biggest mystery to this day. How does a, no offense ladies, how do you get your toes stuck in the same faucet? I don't know. Now, I, that's the low end of my emergency calls, believe it or not. Me that's breaking in on, on naked women. How? <laughs> you know, that sounds so weird when I even say that nowadays. And I used to work for Playboy. I've seen the weirdest stuff. So anyway, uh, the next one is to now help. I think I glued my hand to the wrench. I just super glued stuff to the wrench. And, oh, thank I got some on my other hand. And I think, oh shoot, to now the cordless phone. Yeah, it's stuck to my face. Yeah, I got super glued. Will you just get over here? Okay, fine. I go and, go and try to break down his door. And see, this is the guy who owes me money. Oh. And he said, the door was unlocked. I said, okay. And I did the typical Chicago fireman thing. I had to break a window, even the door was halfway open. Seems only fair. And, it's, and I looked at him like, you're really, and he's like, yeah, what am I going to, this old-fashioned cordless brick phone, you know, the wire, and he's like, I, I can't get that, okay, you're going to need some acetone. Wait, you're a bachelor, that's not going to work. So I think we're going to have to use lots and lots of heat. So I went upstairs and started the shower with lots and lots of water, lots of hot water. And it's okay, listen carefully, this is going to melt the super glue off your face. I now ask the question to the audience, how many of you guys believe that is actually going to happen? Raise your hands. You are all very smart people. <laughs> because he owes me money. So I threw him in. And by the way, do you know how many electric shocks you can get from one of those cordless old-fashioned phones? <laughs> the answer is 12. <laughs> and they're really big ones because I've never seen anyone's hair go that big in less than three seconds. It's like, you owe me money. Now, a friend of mine calls, going, to now help, I'm stuck in a snowdrift. I'm living in Burbank, I look out this wonderful sunny day, where are you stuck in the snowdrift? I'm looking at the mountains, maybe she's like, I'm stuck in the snowdrift in Washington, D.C. or state? D.C. Why don't you call AAA? Because the number in California doesn't work over it. Just call the, okay, never mind. I call my friends on the East Coast saying, hey, um, a friend of mine, she's stuck in the Beltway in Washington, D.C. Can someone just get her the number? Here's her number. Call her and let her know what the number for AAA is out on the East Coast. And she was being a little too frantic because she had accidentally dropped her phone in the coffee. She had three hot cups of coffee for some reason in her car, so she was fine for a couple hours. And to which my friend finally gave up and from Boston. How many of you have lived on the East Coast? Maybe, sort of. Okay, went from Boston, found a friend of his named Antonio, who had a tow truck, and drove all the way down to Washington, C Washington, D.C. Found her off the belt, you know how long that takes, and somehow they made it there in under three hours. Wow. Antonio, he's related to an Andretti. He knows how to drive the damn truck pretty damn fast. So, and he's going, and my friend is going, I cannot believe I'm rescuing people like Tadao. Antonio turned to him, wait, you know Tadao? <laughs> this was the shocker. It's like, oh my god, there's the, this network of friends across the nation who are doing wrestling. You know, if you need a problem, I can probably solve it. But you know, the oh, FBI, yeah. they're really uh, tired of having to clean up all my messes. Anyway, um, the other one is, uh, I'll skip that one. It's not fun. All right, a friend locked herself out of a car. She can't get in the car. It's a Florida Highway Patrol officer helped her. said, no, it's just the little remote's got no batteries. You just need to get a new one at, at 7-Eleven. I, I can't open it. If I open the door and get you to the 7-Eleven, will you book it? Yeah. And she's got a Land Rover. It's a nice car. It's beautiful. You can, you can remote to open the back seats, open the doors, start the car, warm up the seats. Yes, it's one of those type of things. And she, the batteries, and she couldn't get in the car. So the officer took, picked up the keys, took the key out, put it in the lock. <laughs> a woman who's been driving this car for 10 years did not realize you could use the key to open the door to get into the car. She was told, no lady, all you need to do is just use the remote control, that's it. Oh, okay. Um, I hate to say, yeah, she's a blonde. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. uh, almost? Yes? No? Maybe? A few? Maybe. Huh? We don't know. Okay, we're using the Mac. Um, no. The top phone call, however, Ed, do not start. 
I will point out that yes, it's related to you, but it's not the same call. I get this phone call. I've had six phone calls.